video we will study about how to generalize the accounting transaction. First, these transactions we had uh, asset account first. In asset account, we will uh, put a cash is first, second is account. In this video, we will study about how to generalize the accounting transaction. Here are here is the question data. Tom Smith opened an accounting firm on January 1, 2016. During the month of January, the business completed the following transaction. Here is a list of the transactions the business completed. We need to prepare our general transactions. Then, first is the general transaction. Second, post the transaction to T account. And third is calculate the balance of each account. And fourth is the prepare the trial balance of the Smith and Association. Now we will start from the first requirement. The first requirement is the card the transaction or in the general. You know that general have the following requirements: date, account title, debit and credit. It is called a general. If we see the first general transaction in January 1, the business sold 70,000 of common stock to open the firm Smith and Association. First, we will do by the in date is one business invest 70,000 in the common stock. So it means it increase in cash. Cash is our asset account. When increase in cash, we debit the cash on seventy thousand. Second is is the common stock because the business sold seventy thousand of the common stock to open a firm. The common stock is our equity account. Increase in equity account is always a credit. If we will write 70,000 in debit side of cash account and 70,000 in common stock in the credit side, both sides are equal. Then we press check the entry. Our first transaction is completed. The second transaction is on 3. The case lies. 300 and furniture 2800 on account. On account means it is borrowed from other persons. In date, we write 3 and we will use splice. Splice is our uh, asset account. Increase in asset always debit. So we debit 300 nature is also our asset account. Then we will write 2800 uh, nature account. Second is account on account. On account means our business uh, we will pay in later on. We use the uh, other head is account payable. Then we will add these two entries. Three hundred plus one hundred two hundred. Then if we add the total is three thousand one hundred. We see again this is a transaction. January three purchase price three hundred and nature two thousand eight hundred on account. Make a compound entry. Compound entry means we will make a single entry. Basically here here is two account are uses first is place second is furniture if we use in single entry use two head then it become a compound entry if we see our first transaction here is a first a one account only use one cash and second is comma common start but in second entry here are two account are using First is supply, second is furniture. We write supplies 300 and furniture 2800. 
both are our asset increases our asset or debit and second is account is account payable and account payable is our liability account increase in our liability is always credited we add up these two amount and then put the total in credit account credit balance so in this way the entry is completed now we will check and we will did a fact our not now it is a correct entry in five in general five perform accounting service for a client and receive a case 1700 it means what does what does it mean it means uh, smith tom smith perform a service for the client generate revenue for the business and receive cash cash in case receive of the cash is it will increase the cash account and perform the service on for a client service our uh, our revenue increase in revenue other we credit so we check this account in 8 January 8 paid cash to acquire land for a furniture office site paid cash for acquire our land for future office site 22,000 it means land about it will increase our asset we paid cash cash decreases decrease in cash asset is always credit increase in asset is always debit so we check this entry in January 11 prepared tax return for a client on account in January 11 we prepared tax return for a client for a client on account it means it it would receive this eleven uh, hundred in future from the client and perform the service for the client it will generate the revenue for the business increase in account receivable is always debit and increase in revenue is always credit both entries are equal amount are equal to check this more entry it is a correct entry we will move to the other entry January 11 14 paid assistance service Salary is our expense account. We will use salary expense and paid. It means we will we get cash. Decrease in cash is our credit, and increase in expense is our other debit. Both amount are equal. Then we we'll check this entry. The next entry is paid twelve hundred on account. It means we paid account payable for cash twelve hundred. Then in case we we paid on account, it means it will decrease our liability. Decrease in liability is debit and decrease in our asset is cash is our asset is credit check this entry generates 19 receive cash on accounting service perform it means cash will increase 
300 rupees and service are performed it means it generate for revenue for the business an increase in demand is always credited so increase in asset cash is our asset is always debit Twenty three build a build a client for two thousand five hundred of, of accounting service. It means we send a bill to client, he'll be pay later on. It become our account receivable or we receive this amount in future. And we will perform this service for the client. Account receivable is our asset account. Increase in asset is our debit. And service revenue is our revenue account. Increase in revenue is always credited. And at 28, receive 600 from client on account. 28 we receive the money from the client it means our case uh, will increase 600 and account receivable will decrease here are two accounts asset account are used one is increasing and second is decreasing the, we use simple rule increase in asset debit cash is here is increased and decrease in asset account is credit. Here is account receivable is decreased. Thirty one paid salaries for the paid secretary salaries of one hundred one thousand five hundred. Here is salaries expenses debit. Because it increases the credit expense, expense, increase in expense always debit. 500. So we paid sales in second account is we use for cash because we paid the sales in form of cash. Increase in asset is always credit. Cash is our asset account decrease. That's why we use cash as a credit of 100 500 1500 paid rent expense over 1000 date is 31 31 date sent is our expense account increase in expenses are always debit We paid the rent expense, it means we paid the rent in the form of cash. Cash is our asset count. Decrease in our asset is always credit. Paid dividend. Paid 1300 of dividend. Dividend is basically our equity account. When we pay dividend, then we will do the following entry. We dividend we debit and we pay the dividend for cash, the cash is credited. Our general entries are completed. The next requirement are started. Post the transaction of to T account. Post these transactions we had done before in the T account. Because the T account, T account has two sides. One is a debit, it is a debit side, it is a credit side. So, 
pass in interview we post you then we run here here we cash is debit we add 70000 debit cash second is a credit to common star common star in january one credit 70000 In January, three supplies and furniture are debited, and account payable is credited. First, we will see the supplies account and furniture account. Supplies account is we select the date. Supplies account is amount three hundred. Furniture account is debited by hundred two thousand eight hundred. ये टोटल अकाउंट पेबल इज क्रेडिट टू थ्री थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड नो यू मूव टू नेक्स्ट एंट्री नेक्स्ट इज जनवरी फाइव कैश इज डेबिट वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड Cash is debit to one thousand seven hundred, and service revenue is credited to one thousand two seven hundred. So this is service revenue account. Here is a service revenue account. Select eight, write one thousand and five seven hundred. Third is a land. The debit land is debit of eight January for the amount of two twenty two thousand and second count is cash account cash account on the credit. Now check this working. Here we will put the put the rest of the account in entries. The above section we have uh, put only January one to January five date period accounting entries. In January eleven account receivable is debit one thousand and one hundred. On we select the date eleven. One thousand and one hundred, and service revenue is paid with the amount of one hundred, one thousand and one hundred. Second is the fourteen, fourteen way service expense are debit. We will see the last year is service expense, service expense year. We use fourteen as a date and. For this service and amount, and cash is credited. We put the cash fourteen, the amount of one thousand and five hundred. Second is account payable. Account payable. Here is account payable on sixteen. Debt section we select the debt and see the account uh, payable amount is one thousand and two hundred and cash is credited. Your cash is in credited the cash amount one thousand and two hundred. The um, January nineteen cash is debit. Select January nineteen and put the cash. The account debit side three hundred and service revenue account is credited with the three hundred. We use debit nineteen in service fee account and credit the service revenue account with three hundred. 
all is into a mode of output here now we have to check it we work on this new data is incorrect let me check it again In your own table is diabetes, one thousand and two hundred. Will put the additional amount in our debit section, not in our credit section. Then we will put the rest of the entries in the account. It is a lengthy process, but you must know how to put this amount. But it is very easy to put the accounting channel entry in the T account and generate 23 account receivable is there to 2500. See the account receivable, then we will see the date. On the three hundred, and we will put the amount two thousand five hundred. Second account is used as service revenue. We will see the service revenue. Service revenue is select the credit. As we see, it is debit or credit. Here in it, here is service revenue is credit. Then we will see the amount two thousand five hundred. We put there. Then we will move the next. One. Next entry, we use cash, cash and debit to 600 and account of the bill is credit to 600. Cash, we will put here the date, date we use is 28. Then we will see the amount, amount we use in cash is debit to 600. The second account is use account of the account of the is credit. We will go to the account receivable the account and see the account receivable credit section and put to the account receivable amount. And we will move to the next entry. Next entry is salary expense and debit on 31 January with cash. Salary expense we will put the salary expense is 1500. And debit area because the salary expense is debited, then we will put the cash of the effect of the entry. The cash here is credit, which is the cash, and then put the amount. The next entry is rent expense and debit. We will see the rent expense. Uh, and expense debit on 31. Let's select 31 on the rent expense. And rent expense debit on 1000. And cash is credit. And we will go to cash e account. For the select 31 and put the amount on 1000. It is credit. And next is dividend and debit on 31. Here is the dividend, and uh, it's at 31 of dividend, it has debited, so we will put the 1300 in debit of the dividend area. area. The second, we will see the cash count is used in this entry, is the credit, we will go to the cash count and put the amount. Here you will see the cash the account is used lot of amount because cash is a backbone of our business. Lot of collection involved cash. So we will put the so the key account of cash account is filled almost. We will check the our working.
now after putting the these general entities in the p account now we will need to calculate the balance of each account <coughs> Before you see the requirement of pay, calculate the balance of each account of 8 January 31, 2016, select the balance reference and enter the amount on the appropriate side of the account. So here one thing we will note it there. The narrow balance of the uh, asset account are debit side. Then we will calculate the total balance amount of the these account we will use for the calculation of the Excel as we will calculate the cash balance cash is debit 70,000 and 1700 300 and 600 and debit I highlight this debit cash amount. The cash is credited on twenty two thousand five hundred, twelve hundred, fifteen hundred, one thousand, and thirteen hundred. Our debit side is greater than the credit side. We subtract the balances. Now we will put the balance on the credit side. Here is the credit side and the debit side. Same process will be repeated in account receivable. Account receivable is debit 1100, second 2500. And it is credited in 600 and we will subtract the panel. The debit side is greater than, so we will put this panel in the greater debit side. It is only one entry, so we will put in 300. Then we will move to the next account. Here is the land. land is only one transaction, so we will put only 2000 as a balance in the debit area, no other amount are used in the land fee account. Same is here in nature, put the balance in the 2800 and account so here, here the true balance are used. Account, account payable with the or liability. Liabilities and narrow balance in the account are credit side, but it is not necessary in all conditions. Sometimes these, but we will follow this simple rule. The credit side is greater than. Then we put the balance on credit side, if the debit side is greater than then we put the debit side. Here the credit side is greater than so we put the uh, balance amount in the credit side. The balance here is only one entry, so the balance is 70,000. And dividend here is a one entry, we will put the 1300. Here we will use again our Excel to calculate the balance of the service revenue account. 1700, 1100, 300, and 2500. We will add this more, then put this balance in the service revenue account. Then no amount in the debit area so all balance will, will put in the credit side. Service expense then we will add the service expenses fifteen hundred and 
Now we have to do all the amount, all the dense amount in the tree count. Now we need to check our version. It is correct. The force requirement is prepared file balance. Are they preparing the file balance? File balance are based on the key count balances. Or the preparing of the file when we put non saveable third is supplies because these are our current assets. Then we will put equipment mixtures that are used Then land, then after putting the asset account, then we will put the our liability account. Account payable, we, no other liability account is available here. Then we will put the equity account, how much start, the ADN. And we will put the our revenue account at the end. We will add our expenses. Here are the two expenses, salary and then expense. For the balances, we will use cash as is forty-four thousand and one hundred. We will write here. 44 and 100. Second is account receivable. Account receivable balance is 3000. We put 3000 in the file balance. And we see the supplies. Supplies is 300. Furniture. Furniture is 2800 There is a land and amount is 22,000 ever balance. So we put the 22,000 in the file balance. Now our all asset balance are 52 file balance. Now here is the liability account. And we will see account there, payable and account payable is a credit side. So we will put 1900 in the credit side of the file balance. Here is the credit side of the file balance, it is a debit side. So we will put the 1900 here. Let me check it again. Account payable 1900. So I put the 1900. So the amount is correct. And the second, we will see the common stock balance, common stock balance, again, uh, red, 70,000. That's good for 70,000. And on the credit side, the dividend. Dividend is debit balance. So we will put the dividend in the debit side of the file balance. Second is the service revenue. Service revenue is 5,600. Where I will put 5,600 in service revenue. And in less, we will need to write the benefit of this expense account. Here is the expense account is service 3,000 and rent is 1,000. I put service. 3000 and rent is 1000. Here we will calculate the debit and credit of the trial balance. If this amount 
total amount are equal, then our trial time is correct. If it's not equal, then there will be a mistake. Here is a, in the debit side, 4,100 and 3,000 and 300, 4,800 and 2,000. 300 and 3,001 and I am going to total it. Totally, 77,500. I put the 77,500 in the debit side of the side balance. Credit side is 19,00, 5,00, Total this amount non our debit and credit of the salary are equal, so our question is correct. In this way, we will calculate the file balance of the account. I hope you will like this uh, uh, video, kindly thumb up and give me your feedback about this tutorial. I will create many other tutorials for you for better understanding and you must get A plus in your accounting class. Thank you so much.